Okay, we're at the last part of our paint your pet video. Um, I'm going to use this flat brush for the background. Um, this is what the whole picture of the dog ended up looking like. And I'm just going to use black and white to make different shades of gray for my background. Just so that uh, the colors really stand out. So, what I like about these flat brushes is they give you this kind of nice texture. When you kind of push down on the paper and then pull up. And so, I'm going to try and do that for my whole background. So, it might look like he's in a, maybe like an explosion or a fuzzy place. But I'm deciding to just keep black and white so that that color really pop. And I'm just kind of trying to be pretty careful around the edges here. Just so that I don't put my paint into the colored paint. So that's already dry. If I want any parts to be a little bit darker, I will just dip my brush in the black paint. I think what I do want is the outside parts to look a little darker and the inside parts to look a little lighter. And when you're painting like this, it might not look good on this video, so I won't do it, but it's good to like turn your page. Because if right now for me it's a little awkward to paint like this. But if I turn my page, it'd be a little bit easier. So when you're painting your picture, don't be afraid to turn your page as much as you need to. I'm just kind of being careful in there because I'm getting it right up to that edge. And I want it a little bit lighter and then I'm going to dip and just make it a little bit darker as I'm going out. And hopefully by the time I get to the corner, maybe I'll have it be a full black. So I'll dip in a little bit more. So when you're doing your background for your pet painting. You do not have to do this technique. It does not have to be just black and white. But this is just one that I enjoy doing so I thought I'd share it with you. Try to be real careful right there. Okay. And if I did kind of get into my color painting Oops, which I just did. It's okay, I could mix that color up again and just go over it. So that is basically the end of our steps for this painting. So once you finish up your background, you should be done, left with a nice pet portrait. It's very unique. Okay.